Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on Proc SQL. This time we're going to learn how to get summaries out of these uh, data sets. We're going to use the auto check usage data set. You need to import it in and put it in a library called store. I have my live name here. I have the directory set up. It's my desktop so I can look at the files directly. Uh, so be sure to do that before you start with this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is look at this auto check data set. So if I come to auto check, you can see that it has the store, it has a date, it has a machine, and it has the time. So these are these automatic checkouts. And basically what it's recording is the amount of time it takes somebody in minutes from the time they start the process of checking out to the time they finish. So at each store, the machine is used. Uh, it doesn't have a time stamp on it. It doesn't need it because we have the time it was used, but we have the date, we have the store, and they have the machines because each machine, uh, each store has a uh, its own machines and it's different numbers. So what we need to do is kind of just roll this up. Okay, so where we have something about how long it takes, at least on average, to find uh, or check out. So, so let's just do that real quick. Uh, so what we're going to do is, again, all of these things start with proc SQL. I'm going to quit. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this data set, select... And here you have to be careful what you select. You just can't select star here. So we're going to select specific columns. So what we want to select is we want to select uh, the store. I think that was one of them. Let's go back and look. So we're going to select store, date, and time. Or how about let's do store, machine, and time and see what we get there. So store, machine, and we don't just want time. We want the mean of time and we'll see what this produces for us from our auto check is what I call this file uh, but it can't just put auto check here it's in the store directory okay so you have to remember that and then here what I want to do is group by because I'm doing an aggregation an aggregation is like a sum or a mean or anything that rolls up the data from having every single value listed, okay? Uh, this is what we're interested in, we're interested in rolling it up. Because if I come over here and I just look at the properties of this data set, my auto check data set, you can see that there are over five million rows in this data set, okay? So uh, I need to roll it up. Dealing with you know almost six million records is pretty difficult. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it up and what we do is we put ever in front of this, we put whatever's up here before the first aggregation. So here we want to group it by store, and then we want to uh, aggregate it by machine. So it's pretty easy to remember. Just look what's here in front of the first aggregation, and the first aggregation is the mean. Uh, and then we put semicolon, and then we hit run, and let's see what happens here. So we run this, and this is going to print it out an output. And so here we go. We have store CI1, machine 1. The mean is 2.99, so almost perfectly three minutes. And if you look down here, it takes people on average about three minutes. Now notice it has for each store, each machine. Each store has seven machines, and they all take about three minutes. So that's good to know that because of what if one's taking longer, that would mean that that machine is somehow broken or slow in some manner. But this doesn't tell you the complete story, right? It's just an average and averages are exactly that, an average. So we probably want to get some other things. Uh, but let's look at this output real quick again uh, because there's something interesting about it. Is notice there's no title here. We have store machine and then uh, nothing. So we actually need to give this a title before we want to move on here, okay? So I have the mean time, but it doesn't have a name. So here I'm going to use the as statement again. In our last video, we may used as to name a table. We can also use as to name a specific variable. So I'm going to call this mean time, okay? And now when I run this, it will create a query that now should have the correct name attached to the top. So here we have mean time. You can see it now put in the name. And that's important because if you don't do this, big problems will happen. 
All right, so now that I have this, I probably would want to get other summaries out of this as well. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. What we want to do first is let's just put this in a new table. So I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, okay, so we've got copy and paste here. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that we recover a lot of the items that we cover in the previous uh, tutorials so that we keep up with our skills. We don't say, oh, well, that was just in that one tutorial. I don't need to remember that. So let's create a table here. So I'm going to create table. And I'm going to call it uh, mean machine. That sounds good. Uh, sounds a little provocative. But anyway, uh, sounds like a bad uh, movie, a horror movie. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going with this. We're going to run this. And notice that mean machine here, if I run this, where will it go? Because if I run this real quick, it rolled it up. If I go to my Explorer, I don't see it in the store directory. Where did it hide it? It actually put it in the work directory. Why did it put it here? Because I didn't specify the directory or the library in the front of this. Okay, so if I really want it to go to store, I actually have to put store dot in front of the name of the, the uh, table. So now if I run this, this should put it where I want it, which is in my store directory. Okay. So if I run this, sure enough, now I get Mean Machine, and you can see all of the data here, and you can see I've taken 5,800,000 rows of information and condensed it down into 126 rows of information. So that's what I mean by aggregating or rolling things up. I've taken averages and done things so that I'm not dealing with that big of uh, records right now. All right, so this gets us going. We figured out how to aggregate some data, deal with some really large data, and we also figured out how to create a new data set. Uh, as, well, we haven't figured out how to do it, but we've done it again. We've defined a new variable, used an aggregator, and defined a new variable called mean time that ends up in our new data set. Okay, so this gets us going. Now we can move on to the next video.